Don't know what the dog is running away. She just legged it down this trail back to the vehicle. Um, she's got her light on. She usually likes her light, but she's legged it. <laughs> she's gone. So, got halfway down this one particular road. In fact, it's the same road we did the cryptid night hike on. And uh, there's no sign of the dog now. She shot off across the meadow up here, back to where I parked the vehicle. So there is something around tonight. Uh, it's dark, so it's after eight o'clock. Um, yeah, she got so far down the trail and she stuck her nose up in the air and legged it. So she's all the way, hopefully, out here by the vehicle. <laughs> and I don't know where she is other than that. So we'll see if I can find her. Perhaps Bigfoot is about tonight. But like I've said in uh, other videos, I'm really not afraid of Bigfoot, you know? I'm not phased by Bigfoot. You know, if there's anything, Bigfoot should be afraid of me to tell you the truth, because I'm the one that could do him some severe damage with what I carry. Um, but then again, who knows? You know, I might have a ghostly hiking partner with me. And she might be upset about the ghostly hiking partner. So let's see if I can find the dog down here. Hopefully she's back over by the Land Rover. I see a light in the distance. Camera's having a hard time focusing. Because it's just dark. Well, there you go. That flicker there is the dog. So, what her problem is, I don't know, but it's scared her enough that she legged it all the way back <laughs> a good half a mile back to the car. So there she is over there. All the way down there. Waiting for me to come back. Let me just put my headlight back on. So I don't know if I'm going to replay this video and find I've got a strange voice following me. Wouldn't be the first time. Does that bother me? Nah, not really. You know, like I've said in the past, really nothing phases me, to tell you the truth. And, uh, you know, I just like to find out more information and find out, you know, why and what does she smell? that's terrifying her, you know, and, and of course, when we were heading down that way, we're in the meadow now, but when we're heading down that way, you know, we're heading towards the Molica River, which is over there, and the cedar swamp, so maybe she wasn't too happy about that. But it's a good thing I didn't cut through the forest, because that would have been problematic too, because the, uh, you know, the tracks I usually follow are motorcycle tracks and it's almost impossible to navigate them at night without any kind of lighting. You trip over and smack your face into stuff. So, uh, so the dog's just over there. Willow, what are you doing? Come here. Come here. Come on. You okay? Are you okay? Come on in. It's okay. Oh, she's panting. She's not happy. In fact, I'm going to drive the lanner over down there. At about 50. We'll see what's in the woods. And that thing comes crashing through the woods. Whatever it is, and it'll flush that out. You okay? You okay? What's wrong? It's okay. Come on. It's okay. All right. Let's let you in the back. Come on. Man. Good girl. You okay? It's okay. What's wrong? 
You okay? There's nothing to be afraid of. Here, come on. Nothing to be afraid of, little pup. When you're with me in the woods, there's nothing to be afraid of, I can assure you. Um, so, yeah, whatever's out there, I'm not sure what's going on, but you're okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a blaster now through the woods in Sandy. Three tons of Land Rover. Maybe we'll do about 55, 60 down that trail with all the, all the lights on. See if I can flush something out. All right, folks, over and out for now.